Hello and welcome for wherever you are joining us from around the country. My name is Angie Stanlin. I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees at Coker University. And on behalf of the Board of Trustees, we want to be among the first to say congratulations. Big achievements, and we are so excited to be able to share with you today. We look forward to hosting you on campus. We assure you that graduation is simply just postponed. This is an interesting time to begin the next phase of your life, but you did it. We're proud of you. Congratulations, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Congratulations, Coker University Class of 2020. We know you had a rough finish, but you all stepped up to the challenge. The world needs you now more than ever. Go out and make us proud. Congratulations, Coker University Class of 2020. You all hold a special place in my heart as I was fortunate enough to recruit a number of you to Coker during my time in admissions. As you prepare for your next journey, I offer one piece of advice. I encourage you to be active alumni. Give back to Coker through your time and talent whenever you can. Whether that's attending an alumni social, coming back to campus for homecoming, or cheering on the Cobras wherever you may be. Once again, congratulations, and as always, go Cobras. Hi, this is Andy Burkemper in the School of Business. Congratulations to all of our undergraduate and graduate students in the class of 2020. We are so proud of the many accomplishments and contributions you have made to the Coker community. I encourage you to always put others before yourself and to have a service mindset in all that you do. Enjoy this moment, keep in touch, and we cannot wait to hear about your future adventures. Dear graduates, I am so proud of you. Congratulations on graduating. Know that your future is bright and we are behind you every step of the way. Never forget to come home. We love you. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Angela Gallo, Dean of the McCall School of Visual and Performing Arts. I would like to say congratulations to all of the spring 2020 Coker University graduates. This has been a difficult semester on many levels and you've adapted with positivity, resolve and creativity. You have persevered and we celebrate your accomplishments with the pride that we would have if we were with you together. I look forward to that time when we're all able to celebrate in person and again, congratulations. Hey, class of 2020, Dan Hill here from Calmia Gardens. Wow. You guys had quite the end of your semester. Use that as a lesson to evolve, to adapt, and to move on. Look for lessons in life, learn from them, grow from them. You guys are awesome. I wish you all the best. Congratulations. Hi, this is Darlene Small from the Center for Diversity, Interfaith, and Inclusion Education. I would like to say congratulations to the class of 2020. Please celebrate your accomplishments. We are so proud of you and wish you all the best with all of your future plans. Hello class of 2020. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments and best wishes with all of your future endeavors. Congratulations. Hola graduates. Congratulations are in order. You finished your education and you're ready to start the next chapter of your lives. I only have one bit of advice for you. Decide what to be and go be it. Good luck to you, wherever that takes you in life. Adios. Congratulations, seniors. You did it. This is an exciting time, and you have achieved a great accomplishment. I know this graduation is not what we imagined, but it's still worth celebrating. As always, go Cobras, and I wish you the best in the future. Well, you did it. Your day is here. I'm so proud of every single one of you. I know what hard work and effort it takes to get to this moment. And so I just wanted to say how proud I am of each and every one of you. I know that you're going to go and do great things because you are the hope for our future. So just remember, Coker gave you your toolbox. You have your tools. Now go out and use them. Hey, we're so proud of you graduates. We hope you go out in the world and that you travel and that you stay curious and make the world a little bit of a better place for somebody else. And um, congratulations for all your good work and uh, go out there and, and, and do it. Bye. Hi class of 2020. Congratulations on your graduation from Coker. I am so proud of you and cannot wait to see what the future holds for you. I wish you the best of luck. Go Cobras. 
Hey there class of 2020, just wanted to say congratulations and I am so extremely proud of you all. Um, you have done an incredible job and this is such a huge accomplishment. So be proud of yourself. Um, I'm reminded of my favorite book during this time, Oh the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss of course. We can't wait to see where you go. Stay connected with us. We will always be your family um, and you will always be a part of our family. Go Cobras, congratulations. Congratulations. 2020 graduates, Coach Dan here. When I think of 2020, I think of a vision. I think of CU, Coker University. I think of people like you that were so resilient to get through this pandemic uh, virus that you will always be remembered. And better yet, you'll, you might not just be remembered, you'll never be forgotten. You're a special group and I really want to congratulate you on what you achieved. You are now an alumnus of Coker University. Go Cobras! You've done it students. Congratulations on achieving your degree. I want you to know how much I've always enjoyed seeing you in the Coker University store and as I'm out and about on campus. The most satisfying part of my job is building relationships with students and helping you with the things I'm able to assist you with. Your presence will be missed and I wish you the best. I look forward to seeing you when you return to campus to visit. Thanks to each of you for leaving your own unique mark on my life and on Coker University. To all of the graduating seniors of Coker University, we are so proud of you and we are excited for all that you will accomplish. Congratulations. Congratulations, Coker Cobras. We're so proud of all of the work you've done here at Coker, but even more excited for everything you're going to do. We need creative, collaborative, thoughtful people just like you. Can't wait to see all of the beautiful work that you do. Congratulations. Hi, Coker graduates. Now that you are graduating, Coker has become a part of your life story. Your next chapter begins now, so make it a great adventure. Good luck and congratulations. Congratulations, Cobras. I cannot be more proud of all that you've accomplished in these last four years. We wish you the best for your future. Go Cobras. You did it. Hello, Cobras. Uh, this is Jonathan Guerin, the roving librarian, and my sidekick, Muna. And uh, we're from the Coker Library, and we want to congratulate you on graduating this year. Um, we're very proud of you. Uh, we are going to miss you greatly. Uh, but we know you're going to go on to do amazing things. We can't wait to see that. Um, so that being said, continue to be amazing. Uh, continue to be kind. And uh, we love you guys. Congratulations. Congratulations, Cobras. You're officially college graduates. We know how hard you worked to get to this day. I'm sorry you weren't able to be on campus today, but we know that you will be back soon. We are so proud of you and the work that you have done. My advice to you, attack each day with enthusiasm, work hard, and do something that you love. Remember, once a Cobra, always a Cobra. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. It's been a wonderful two or four years, maybe five for some of you and I've really appreciated getting to know you and having you as a student. Good luck after Coker, you're gonna do great. Hi everybody, congratulations on graduation. Great accomplishment and try to stay strong during the pandemic. Congratulations, graduating class of 2020. We're sad that we couldn't be there to wish you well in person, but just know that we're so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished. And remember, once a Cobra, always a Cobra. We're a Coker family. So we're excited to hear about all your successes in the future when you come back and visit us as alumni. Good luck! Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it, and I am so proud of you. Congratulations, and welcome to our newest class of Coker alumni. Best wishes to the graduating class. I'm so proud of our Coker graduates. Stay creative. Stay engaged, stay well. Best of luck. Congratulations, class of 2020. I once heard a general tell a group of graduates that one thing they should do every day is make up their beds. That way, when they were asked, have they accomplished anything all day, they can say yes. 
I made up my bed. Congratulations. Be safe. I'm sorry we could not see each other in person. Seniors, I'm so proud of you. I've uh, tried to record this video multiple times without the tears, so uh, I'm so sorry. But just know that I love you all so much, and I can't even begin to tell you how proud I am of you. Some of you specifically have overcome so many obstacles, and uh, you made it. And just know that you can do anything you put your mind to, and I am always here anytime you need me, okay? I love you. Go change the world. This is Dr. Dan Malone, Assistant Professor of Sociology and Criminology here at Coker University. And I just want to give a quick shout out celebration to our non-traditional graduating seniors. Yes, you, the one that has the full-time job, the family obligations, and yet you've balanced that with school and you've been successful. So here's to you. So many people are behind you and it's time for you to bask in this moment. Congratulations, go Cobras. Hi graduates, I'm Registrar Shannon Flowers and I just wanted to say congratulations and I am so proud of you. I also wanted to take just a moment and share this picture with you. This is me the day I graduated from Coker and what I remember about that day is the joy and pride I felt as a college graduate, particularly a first generation graduate. But I also remember the number of times I was asked, what's next? My advice to you is to not dwell on that question. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. Enjoy the feeling that you have today and just keep moving forward and it will all turn out the way that it was supposed to. My final piece of advice is an old quote. The fastest path to success is by helping others succeed. Congratulations again. I'm going to miss you all terribly. And go Cobras! Coker University, man. Congratulations, class of 2020. Guys, I'm Chris Singleton here, and I just want to say it is such an honor and a pleasure to be speaking to you all and be your commencement speaker for this year's graduation. I know it's a little different because we're doing it virtually and this is something that nobody could plan, but I'm always thankful every time I get this opportunity. And for that, I want to say thank you so much to all the leadership that trusted me to give this year's message in these trying times. Guys, I, I always say uh, at every single talk, people ask me, Chris, why do you speak? Why do you do the things that you do? Uh, why do you share? And I give the same answer every single time. It's five numbers of the reason why I do what I do. The reason why I speak across the country, the reason why I try to make an impact in the fashion that I do. These numbers are 1, 70, 50, 9, and 1. You see, I picked these five numbers because one person walked into my church and they fired over 70 bullets. And 50 plus of those bullets entered bodies in my church and took nine lives, and one of those lives was my mom, Sharonda Ann Coleman Singleton. And that's the reason why I do what I do. So when people ask me, Chris, why do you go out and share the message that you share? Why do you talk about love? Why do you talk about unity of overcoming? My answer is, how could I not when this happened to me directly? So I'm honored to be here, and I want to take a quick moment to say, man, congratulations. And I want to give a round of applause to everybody that's graduating. I know it's a little different because usually uh, the commencement speaker or whoever is up here would say, you know, hold all the applause until the end, and that never happens anyway. So I'm going to give a, a quick 10 seconds for everybody to just, you know, cheer and congratulate one another. And if you're around your family members, you guys do that at home uh, right now. So congrats. Guys, it's no, it's no uh, secret that you guys are uh, experiencing something that has never um, happened before, right? I'm not going to be up here and act like everything's all sunshine and rainbows uh, right now because it's not, right? Some of you guys are experiencing things that have never uh, ex been experienced before. You, you right now should be able to be walking across the stage, you know, shaking a hand and smiling and, and throwing your, your hat in the air. All these things that you should be experiencing are not able to, to happen right now. Right? I'm not going to act like some of you aren't 
uh, losing family members in this tragedy. I'm not going to act like that's, that's not true because it is, right? It's happening. And one thing that I always say, we speak about these tragedies. Man, I, I'm a person that, of, of faith, of belief. And, and when I think about what I've gone through in my life, the reason why I speak is not because I played professional baseball and got drafted by the Cubs. The reason why I started speaking is because of the tragedy, the mass shooting that happened at my church. Or right, that's where it all sparked. And, and that's what I call the worst of the worst. Right now, I've been fortunate enough to be speaking over four years. And I talk about how we can overcome these things. How do we get out of the darkest moments of our life? Right now, some of you, you all may be thinking, man, this is my darkest moment. You're thinking, man, I, this was going to be the year. This is going to be the time where I could celebrate, have fun, go on vacation after graduate, whatever it may be. And unfortunately, that's not happening. And I remember me in my life after my mom was taken away from me, there was a, a small period of time where I would go and I would sleep with my little brother. He was 12 years old at the time and he would cry every night. And I remember just trying to comfort him and, and, and lay next to him as, as the big bro would do, man. And, and I remember him crying himself to sleep and thinking to myself, that was the lowest point of my life. Right here in those tears, Hearing those whimpers, those, seeing those tears, man, my little brother was 12 years old at the time. And some of you all right now are experiencing something like that. It's 2020, you're graduating, things should be great, but they're looking a little different. I'm going to just tell you something, a quote that kind of helped me get this perspective that I still have to this day about getting through anything that life throws my way. And this quote is from a guy named Charles Swindle. He says, 10% of your life is action and the other 90% is reaction. Again, I'll say it again. 10% of your life is action and the other 90% is reaction. So what does that mean? You know, when I think about it, that just means 10% of our life is just given to us. Things are just going to happen, right? Nobody can see COVID-19 coming in. It just happened, right? That, but that is our 10%. Unfortunately, you guys have seen uh, you're all too familiar with you know, shootings, unfortunately, about what happened this year. And it breaks my heart to think that. But nobody could, could control that, right? That is our 10% it happened. The 90% is how we respond to it. How do you guys respond to not being able to walk across the stage, right? How do you respond to, to, to things that life is throwing at you that you never even could imagine would happen? You see, my 10%, my, my mom was a wonderful woman. And she was taken away from me based on the color of her skin. That's my 10%. My 90% is, is speaking to schools, organizations, companies all across the country, reminding everybody that nobody chooses their skin color. That I didn't choose mine, you didn't choose yours. So I'm gonna never hate you for yours and you should never hate me for mine. That is my, that is my 90%. All right, some of you, your 10%, uh, maybe something that you, you had a job lined up, right? Perfect. You were, you were waiting and everything was, was all good. But now things shifted. It's not the same as it used to be. And it's not looking as sweet as, as it was going to be before, right? But how, what is your 90%? How are you going to respond to it? I challenge you all, graduates of Coker University, I challenge you all to do something magnificent with their 90. You know, as I'm just thinking about ways you can respond and, and make great change, I'm thinking about a story, right? Up in New Jersey, it was, a, it was a guy who just delivers newspapers. Delivers newspapers to elderly people's homes, and he does this all the time, right? This is his day job. But during this COVID-19 crisis, right, he would actually write a, a note on him and say, if you, ever, if you guys ever need anything, such as groceries or whatever it may be, I'll go get them for you, right? He was doing this on his regular paper route. Little did he know all these elderly people needed his help. And so what he did was he said, you know what, I'm going to help you guys out. His 10% was that it was different. It was weird. His, his job was on maybe shaky terms. But he said, I'm going to do something extraordinary with my 90. So here you have a man getting groceries for elderly people, leaving them on their doorstep because they couldn't do it themselves. But I challenge you all, what is that 90% going to be? Yes, the 10% we may not be able to control, but you, you can for sure do something great with your 90 now, before I leave you all, because I, I promised myself I'm going to be short today. Uh, before I leave you, I want to share one more quote with you all from a guy named Jackie Robinson. Now, I'm a former baseball player. I'm an African-American, and he broke the color barrier in baseball. So I love Jackie Robinson. And the quote is, 
One life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. Again, one life is not important except in the impact it has on other lives. So I challenge you all to do something extraordinary with your life, to make an impact on others. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm so grateful to be speaking uh, to all the graduates of 2020 at Coker University. Guys, stay safe, help stop this spread, and God bless. Congratulations, graduates, on this important milestone that you've accomplished. You chose Coker a few years ago, and you've made such a difference on our campus as well as within our community. We appreciate all you've done for us. Please know you always have a home here, and we look forward to welcoming you back at any point in time. Go Cobras! Congratulations, seniors. We are so excited for you and so proud of you for everything you've accomplished while you've been at Coker. We wish you nothing but the very best, and we can't wait to hear about how successful you are moving forward. Best of luck. Hey seniors, congratulations on a great year and a fantastic career at Coker. Best of luck in whatever you do, we know you're gonna do big things. Congratulations. Congratulations Coker seniors, graduating class of 2020. Big shout out to my uh, tennis seniors. Great job Hunter, great job Walker. Congratulations Fabrizio. This is Garrett with Coker Women's Soccer. Just want to congratulate our Coker University class of 2020. Excited for all of you guys to begin the next part of your journeys and looking forward to seeing all of you guys at future homecomings. Go Cobras! Hi guys, Coach Michael Antonovich here. I want to say a massive congratulations to all you seniors. You guys made it. I want to wish every single one of you all the best. Go out there and achieve your dreams. I want to give a special thanks to all the men's soccer seniors for their service to the program. Coker's a special place. Every single one of you guys played your part. My only advice for you guys is don't eat the yellow snow. Seniors, Coach McLaughlin just wanted to reach out and say congratulations on graduating and such a successful milestone in your life. Class of 2020, congratulations on graduating. Uh, what an important milestone this is for each one of you walking across the stage, uh, even if it is virtually. Uh, congrats on your accomplishment. A special shout out to the softball seniors. Uh, we're really, really proud of all your contributions on and off the field and wish you nothing but the best in life. Uh, and as always, uh, go Cobras. Hey seniors, I just want to say thank you for all of the hard work and dedication that you've given to Coker throughout your journey. And I also want to say congratulations on making it through to the end. I pray many blessings on your future endeavors. Go Cobras. I just want to take this time to thank uh, our five seniors, EJ, Bachman, Maddox, McCutcheon, and, and Denton uh, for their time with our program uh, over their four years, some six years. They've been a, um, a very important part of the culture that we're building and the success of this team moving forward. So thank you guys for everything that you've done. Um, I wish you well in your real world, wherever that takes you. Um, and hopefully maybe we'll even get a couple of you guys back. But best of luck. Um, you are now alumni and graduates. Thank you guys. Congrats, seniors. Wish you all the best and go Cobras. Hi, my name is just Rudy and I'm the head coach for eSports here at Coker. I want to say congratulations to the graduation class of 2020. It may not be under the circumstances that you guys wanted, but you guys should still be a proud with how you guys were able to adapt to the times. I wanted to wish you guys luck for your life after Coker and know that we'll always be here supporting you. Hey grads, this is Coach Travis with Volleyball wishing all of our Coker seniors a happy graduation today. Also, want to send a special congratulations to our three volleyball seniors, Madison Gardner, Sierra Harvey, and Taylor Dubray. Congratulations today, and we wish you the best of luck on all your future endeavors, and thank you for your commitment to our volleyball program over the years. Thanks, and happy graduation, everyone. 2020 Coker University seniors, congratulations. Thank you for everything you've given us over the years and good luck in your future endeavors. I just wanted to say a big thank you first and foremost for all you guys did for our program. Each and every one of you were an integral part of everything that we've done. And more importantly, congratulations on this huge accomplishment. I look forward to keeping in touch with all of you and seeing all the amazing, great things you continue to do after graduation. So again, thank you and congratulations. To all our Coker graduates, and especially our Coker wrestling graduates, thank you for your time at Coker. Congratulations on a degree well earned. Sorry we can't celebrate in person, 
but thank you for choosing Coker, and thank you for everything that you've given this wrestling program. Cobra Seniors, on behalf of our men's basketball staff and our entire men's basketball program, I want to say congratulations on a huge accomplishment. A special thanks to our lone senior, A.J. McQuage. I love you, and best of luck moving forward. With Coker, I really came here because of like the small size of it and everything. Uh, whenever I was doing ambassador tours, I'd always tell people, the size is what really mattered. You became more than just a number. You were a person, you were someone that people could get to know and to talk to. And also with the theater major, you actually get a lot of opportunities to do shows. I, I was able to do like three, four shows a year. And that really gave me some good experience for what I wanted to go and do. Yeah, I think when I got to Coker, you know, I was just used to going to class and you sit there and, and listen to the lecture and then do the homework. But through my years at Coker, I really built a strong relationship with all my professors. Um, they really care about my development. And that's something that really motivated me to go to class. Also, there were so many opportunities that were presented to me because I built those relationships with those professors and with those faculties. Um, I was recommended for positions on campus. Um, I was able to, you know, do a couple of internships on campus and anything that I needed, any recommendation letter that I needed, my professors and the faculty were always um, there to help me out. We just have this community that encourages growth. We all believe in each other, we all support each other, whether it's academics or athletics, and that's what really allows all students to elevate themselves to their full potential when coming to Coker, because you have ample opportunities to get involved and you're encouraged to consistently get involved. I feel like our Coker community is super unique in how diverse we are. Uh, we have students that come from a lot of different backgrounds, but most of us are first generation students and this is something that we've never had to experience before. Um, our parents never did it before either, so it's all new to us and I feel like we have a lot of our faculty and staff who've been through the same things also, so they're able to help us along the way. Um, I think it's really cool that we have a lot of um, faculty and staff members who both graduate, who all graduated from Coker and they're working there now. Um, it just kind of shows that Coker is always going to be that home for you, no matter if it's 10 years after you graduated or the minute after you graduated. Um, it's really cool to see how um, our faculty and staff are able to support us. Like, yeah, Coker's always been this way. It's always had the same type of tradition and spirit and just love and community and I really think that's something positive and you really don't see anywhere else. Um, I've learned to be more compassionate and understanding towards people who are not like me. You know, I've learned to be compassionate and understanding to people who don't think like me. Um, I've learned to try to listen to people more and get other people's side, of, side and point of view because just because I think something's correct doesn't mean it's like the one way. That's just one of the biggest lessons I've learned. But yeah, I mean, I, I, think, I really believe Coker has really shaped me into who I am today. So when I came in as a freshman, I swore that I would never, ever go study abroad. Um, and I actually took a Spanish class my freshman year. I took intensive Spanish with Don Mack. And Don Mack, you know, I was, yeah, I had taken Spanish in high school. And so Don Mack was like, yeah, you're actually pretty good at this. Um, you know, you should really consider studying abroad. And I told him no for quite some time. I said, I couldn't do that. I'm so much of a homebody that I don't think that that would be possible. Um, that ended up changing. My sophomore year, I actually went abroad for a whole entire summer to Costa Rica and Cuba. Um, and that helped me step out of my comfort zone way more than anything that I had done on campus because um, I was going to a whole new country by myself to live with a whole different family and a whole new group of friends for a whole entire summer. Um, and so that was a huge adjustment. And then I think when I came back, because I had stepped out of my shell so much from that experience, I was then able to put myself out there in even more positions. Um, I went for RA, I went for senior advisor, I went for president. Um, even if I wasn't going to get them, I still was putting myself out there and trying for it. Um, and I think that's like a huge takeaway for me. Years from now, what I remember the most about Coker um, is how much of I've grown as a person. Um, I don't think I would have gotten this experience at any other college 
um i was not forced to come out of my comfort zone but just meeting the people um when i first arrived on campus it kind of made me want to because i knew that if i didn't i would probably just you know be a number um and so there's so many opportunities for people to grow at coker i was fortunate to join the campus activities board and i joined the executive board my freshman year of college um and not many people get to do that um and i've been able to travel to places i probably wouldn't have at any other school um and just meet so many great people i think that just has made my experience so much more than what i expected four years ago i am far more determined and uh I have a lot more grit now that I've gone through um, four years at Coker. I think that um, being accountable and learning what it is to be responsible to other people and to learn how to be empathetic and caring for other people is really important. And I'm, through my capstone research particularly, I worked with uh, children with autism and using movement therapy to develop social skills for children with autism. So. I, I think that through things like that, being able to cultivate that part of my life, the kindness and the understanding and the helping position, while I can still perform on stage, is just a really wonderful kind of balance that I needed from Coker. So I feel, I feel much more balanced now. I feel like I have a grasp on what life is, what life could be like. I am in the Masters of Science in Collegiate Athletic Administration and I really chose Coker because it was the perfect degree option for me to get my fast track, to get my doctorate, a really easy, convenient online facet. Um, I got accepted into graduate school a few weeks ago and I never thought that that would be it. I didn't even really expect so much to go to college all that much, um, but I found a way to make that happen and then now to think that I'm going to graduate school and I'm going to be a coach next year, actually, a graduate assistant wrestling coach. So um, that's going to offset the cost of graduate school, which I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for that. Um, and I would have never gotten this position if it wasn't for my time at Coker and the references I do have and the relationships I built. Um, so this next step in my life is going to be huge, and I owe it a lot of it to the people that I met at Coker along the way. When I started Coker, I didn't know what I wanted to do in life. And um, I knew I wanted to own a business, but I didn't know how I was going to own that business or what it was going to be. So now I'm a businesswoman. Um, I started A1 Errands and it's doing really well. And then it's, it's like um, I take the knowledge that I get from classes, from management classes, business classes, and even computer classes. And I take it and I put it in my business and that's what makes it work. My name is Dorothy Sip, and I am a 55-year-old woman. I am a transfer student from um, Florence Dalton K. Um, I want to open up my own business. That's what, I, that's what I really want to do. It's coming together because what I was thinking about my business is actually set me up good to do it. What kept me going was our motto in our church, strive hard in whatever you do strive to do it so well that no man living and no man dead and no man yet to be born can do it any better. So that kept me going. I got to do my best and, and to strive hard and what about you? Give it all I got. And that's what I was trying to do. Give it all I got. And throughout my four years, I really feel like that I did make my Coker story my own. Throughout the clubs I did, throughout the sports I did, throughout the friends and I made and the events I went to, um, I feel like Coker has given me the unique experience to take my story and lead it into the future. Um, right now, there's a lot of uncertainty as to when I'll be doing taking on my next step, but I'm excited for whatever is to come, whether that be doing PA school in the near future, or taking on more of a business approach um, within like Marriott hotels or working my way up that corporate ladder. But um, whatever's to hold in the future, I'm just thankful for the experience that Coker has given me and the knowledge that I will be taking into the future within whatever career path I take. So something that will definitely stick out the most is just how much the faculty and staff just love their the students. Um, I've just had an overwhelming support system 
at school, um, being three hours away, it really made the transfer from home to college just so incredible. So I would definitely miss, and I will always remember those relationships that I formed with the faculty and the staff. With the way senior year went, I think it impacted me the way it impacted, I would guess, most seniors. It was kind of bittersweet. It was one of those things that, you know, we're always going to remember this for the rest of our lives. You know, we were having to go home and do everything online. And for some people, online is really not the first choice. Thank God for me, I had online classes, so I was prepared for anything come what may. But um, one thing that really surprised me with Coker through all of this whole ordeal is they were willing, they were emailing everyone, they still email everyone, hey, if you need somebody, if you need something, if you need anything that we can send your way, please let us know. Just that, that attitude of, hey, we've got you. Don't stress, don't worry, everything. Just the emails, the Facebook posts, because they keep up with everybody on social media. I think that really surprised me. Coker did not skip a beat. They were there they're still there and they're willing to be there for us till the very end and that's one thing that really encouraged me to do the best i could online you know we all still keep in touch and i'm looking forward to future things like they just announced alumni weekend so i'm really excited to plan future things like that and get back with my fellow seniors and um, go from there um, and in terms of future plans for me i will be starting school at boston university it's a doctor of physical therapy program so that has moved online for the summer, but I'll be looking forward to moving up to Boston in the fall to officially begin there. At the moment, it I think it's finally hit me that I only have a week left of my undergrad experience. And so it's, it's emotional. Um, it can be overwhelming, at times scary, but very exciting because um, at this moment, I know that I don't have to question how I'll be able to manage in the world because I know Coker has prepared me um, to take on different experiences, um, different jobs. Um, and I have Coker to thank for that because they have shaped me into a very different person than I was four years ago um, with the experiences and with the people and the opportunities that they have both handed me and given me an opportunity to come out of my comfort zone to take. and. Yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, I wish I could stay longer, but I know if I did, there's probably nothing left for me because I've taken everything that I could get. So, um, yeah, I will keep this experience with me for the rest of my life. And so I'm very happy. It feels like a weight is off my shoulder. Like I did it. <laughs> I finished. I went back, I came back and I finish what I said I was going to accomplish and I did it I mean it, it's bittersweet it really is with everything that's, that's happened and everything but I, I really do not regret going through these four years going through the college here and everything and like yeah we've all had our frustrations everyone has a frustration no matter what with their college but I really do not regret what I've been through and what I've what I've done here at this place and even going to this place I really do think that I've gotten every that gotten everything I could out of my experience and everything and I guess for anyone else that's wanting to go through it and finish going through it or anything like that just take advantage of everything you've got because you don't want to be that one kid that sits in his room all day and thinks that he doesn't belong here because he didn't go out and talk to people so take advantage of your college experience um, I just want to give a shout out to my coaches coach Johnson and coach Ash for helping me go through a lot this year and um, just you know make it a special year for all of us and I just want to give a shout out for um, Dr. Klemek, for my IS um, supervisor, and you know she's taught me a lot to grow as a person. And also Whitney Cranford, she's you know one of the best teachers at Coker, I think, and she's she's pretty cool. Um, and also just my friends, you know, they know who they are, and just to help me get through these three years, and I'm happy I finally get to graduate. I'd like to specifically shout out Dr. John Jewell. His course that I took allowed me to go beyond the curriculum and explore the esports area in a more in-depth manner and allowed me to find a lot of passion in that area as well. I look forward to working with him in the future and showing him the progress that we've made. The four years has just been great. I mean, basically everybody I've met because it has been wonderful and I have great times with them. So. I think the people of Coker that I met over the years is like the biggest thing I'll look back and, you know, 
good memories, good memories. Basically, I just want to thank everybody that I've met. So that's that's it, yeah. I want to thank everybody I met. First, especially shout out Robin Richardson. Uh, she has helped me in every international so much. She is a trooper. Even if it's just sitting there with the snacks in the office, it's fantastic. Um, every player, every friend I've made, every coach that's trained me, every professor that's had me, it's all been great. It's all been, I've made friendships and relationships with people that I never thought I'd make from all parts of the world. And yeah, I'd just like to thank every single one of them for, for making poker better. Thank you, Kirk University, for helping me become the person that I am today and for pushing me to step out of my comfort zone and to try new things. Thank you for giving me an amazing family. I will be forever grateful. Final thoughts. Uh, I guess I just say, like, you know, God is good. And, uh, you know, I, I'm believing that there are good things that are coming out of this terrible thing. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful to be a Cobra and I believe that the best way to be a Cobra is to always um, reach out to people and continue those relationships, you know, continue that movement. Um, so, you know, I hope after I graduate, I can continue the relationships and friendships with the people I've made at Coker University. And um, yeah, you know, I'm just grateful, man. I'm really, I'm really excited for life in general. A little scared, I'm, I'm still excited for life in general. I'm Natalie Harder, incoming president of Coker University. I want to congratulate the class of 2020. I know I haven't been there for all of your hard work, and I truly want to applaud you for being successful through a challenging spring semester. You can do anything, and you will be outstandingly successful Coker University alumni. Please keep in touch with your Coker University family, and if I'm lucky, I will get to applaud each of you in person. Congratulations again, and best of luck to you in the future.